Hello and welcome to the GCC Nova video for new features in Microsoft CRM 2011. So in this video we're going to be looking at the changes to the Outlook client for CRM. So if we open up here we're looking at a regular Outlook 2010 uh, complete with the ribbon bar for your emails and we have the reading pane off the right hand side here for your emails. You now notice that CRM is embedded as one of the grouped items in the stack down here. So if I come into here, we're now looking at accounts for uh, CRM. And also within here, we still now have the ribbon bar. So the ribbon bar now applies to your CRM as well. So we have the views and the ability to add on the reading pane. So we have the reading pane over the right hand side here, which we just pull in a little further. So it's working exactly like Outlook now, if I highlight an account off this side, we can see the account details down the preview pane down the side here. We also have the ability to add the charts in, which was in our previous blog video. Plus, we can also add directly items into the record that we have highlighted. So designer goods here, if we need to do a phone call or activity there, no need to open it up or set the regarding, just simply click phone call. And the phone call record will automatically be set to regarding that particular record you had highlighted. You can carry on there, again, speeding up your work process. The context menu will change. So at the moment, we have the accounts ribbon here because we're looking at accounts. If I come on to opportunities, then the context ribbon will change over to opportunities and we can do items relating to opportunities here so we can close directly or win directly from here so if I click on win here it comes immediately into the close opportunity record and we can click on OK so again we don't have to open up the item go into actions and then close once again speeding you up we can see the opportunity details off the right hand side here against our list here and also we can control how the list actually looks within CRM now. So at the moment we're arranged, we have the topic, the closed date, the probability and the customer, but I want the customer over here. So all I need to do is just grab that field here and drag it on over here and we now sort it via customer. Um, yes, we do have the sorts in here or the topics in here. What I actually want to do is create a group of customers here. So if I just right mouse click on the custom record, group by this field, and now everything is arranged by the customer. We can come into here and we can resort and we can look at the revenue per the customer in here. We can go ahead and add on new fields if we want to, change how the sorting works, sort by multiple columns too. We can also go in and create conditional formatting on these particular views. So we can come in here, we can do how our sorting is going, multiple sorts. But I'm going to come down to conditional formatting here. What I'm going to do here is adding some formatting based on the date of the opportunity. So if the opportunity date is before today, then I'm going to have those opportunities highlighted in red. So I just need to come in here and determine what it's going to look like. So all I'm going to do is boost up by red, make it bolder so it stands out a little more, and then put in the condition here. Just come over to advanced, choose what field I wish to place my condition on. So it'd be estimated close date is on or before now, which is today. If I add that to the list, click on OK, click on OK there, click on OK there. That's now applied that, so I've got, well, I've got a lot of opportunities I need to be working on here. And it's not just one conditional format here. You can come back in and continue with conditional format, and it applies the rules and the orders that they come down. So if we create another one here, we could create one for the opportunities closing this month. Again, just apply whatever font you want on here. So if I'm going to choose green here, once again, I'll bold that up, apply my condition. So set my field, my user defined field here. Estimated close date is, uh, should be one already set in here for this month. There we go, there's this month. Add that to my list. Click on OK. And OK there. So I've got a couple of opportunities now for this particular month. So it makes it a lot clearer what I'm looking at here. I can go ahead and actually set these things as uh, my default views as well. I can create new personal views. I can customize how the reading pane looks. I'll come back into the view settings here. I can decide whether the reading pane's there or not, exactly as it uh, does in Outlook. Also off the side here, I click on there and open up a record you'll see the changes that have been made within the actual records here so 
the immediate change is the fact that there's no tabs within CRM 2011. What it is is all stacked up in one view here. So I've got my records as I cycle down. I'm looking at my details. If you need to get to an area quickly, you can just click on the left-hand pane here and come immediately to the contacts area. So we're now looking at a grid view in here. So it's a lot easier now to create grid views within particular systems. So you can be looking at the contacts within the account rather than having to come off to the contact side there. You can adjust the view of the grid too as well in here or create a personal view within here if uh, this grid isn't particularly working for you and obviously you can then continue through and drill into those particular records off that grid view there. Okay so those are some of the changes that have happened within the Outlook area of CRM. I think the benefits of these changes will be the ability to speed you up quite a lot but you're still retaining all of the old views here so we have uh, an inbox here and we have an email here so I can still go ahead and set regarding on this particular email so I can set it regarding a particular account it will store that record but what you will also notice is once I've set it regarding the preview pane changes slightly and I can see what's going on down here and where it's been set to within CRM also the contact has immediately been created as well because I have options within here to create a contact from the sender or organization or attract email messages if the contact doesn't already exist in CRM. So the Gmail team didn't exist in CRM so it's automatically created the contact in CRM. So all I need to do from my preview pane now is come through here. It's got listed down here what the contact is, what it's regarding, so I can just open up that as a related record and I'm straight into the contact that was automatically created from tracking that email in CRM. So the improvements that have been made here definitely improve the way you work within Microsoft CRM Outlook Client.